Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this particular screencast I will show you how you can create a better find control method that will allow you to search through a nested hierarchy of ASP.NET controls and find a particular control by its ID. Let's first check out what's the problem with the current find control method that is exposed on the control class. So I have this page over here which contains a create uh, the create user wizard control and if and if you scroll down you'll see that there's a text box called text box one control which is simply a text box control now let's say that I want to access this text box control onto the coding side or the or the button click event so I can simply say var tb equal to create uh, user wizard control and find control which is a default implementation and I'm going to say okay text box one as text box okay and I can simply say okay TB dot text so I'm assigning some text let's say hello world and uh, let's build this let's go over here in the Firefox refresh the page and if I say find control now you'll see that it throws an error saying object reference not set to an instance of an object which actually means that the find control the default implementation of the find control was not able to find the control name text box one so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and implement a better find control method and we're also going to implement it as an extension method so that it can be used on the control classes on, on all the control classes okay so let's say that this is called uh, extension uh, methods or you can also say better find control or something so let's say that this is a extension methods first of all make this class static and our control will be called uh, better find control so let's start with that let's say public static will return a t type better find control and it will work on the control so I'm going to say control and then this the ID will be used uh, to search the control you can always go and uh, create more overloads of this particular uh, method so let's say that if control is not equal to null then and only then we are allowed to go inside this particular loop okay and then there are different checks that you can say that if a string is null or empty if basically ID is empty that you're passing you're not really searching for anything so you just say argument kind of like null exception ID is required you know these kind of exceptions you can throw then we can say if control dot ID is equal to the ID that is actually passed then we will simply return the control as T which is basically the required control that we actually want then we can also say if control dot has control that if control has nested controls child controls then we want to go in this particular loop and we can say uh, control C in control dot controls and basically we can say var uh, found control equal to C dot better find control so this is a recursive call that I'm making and let's go ahead and pass the ID and then if I can say found control if it is not equal to null then this means that we have actually found the control return found control as T okay and in the end uh, basically when you are out of the loop you'll just say return over here null which actually means that there's no find control nothing was actually found let's build this before I go and show you how it actually works and how it will find the text box one control, let's go ahead and thank our sponsors. Are you looking to master ASP.NET MVC framework? Then pick up a copy of ASP.NET MVC in action. Jeffrey Palermo, Ben Sherman and Jimmy Bogart are considered leaders in the .NET community and they have written a true masterpiece. This book covers the ASP.NET MVC framework in detail by creating a real life application. It contains concepts like dependency injection, test-driven development, domain-driven design, and of course, a deep dive into the ASP.NET MVC framework. This is the only book you will ever need to master the ASP.NET MVC framework. Simply visit the website at www.manning.com Palermo.
welcome back. The final step was actually to run it. So let's actually go ahead over here and we are going to use a better find control method and you will see that this is since it's a extension method it on a control and since create user wizard is a control it will be available on all the controls. Let's say over here we are finding the text box the generic uses because so we don't have to cast it again we are already telling it that we're kind of looking for a text box control okay let's build this let's go ahead and refresh it and you see that now it didn't actually throw any exception and it was able to find the control the reason you're, you're not able to see the hello text right now is because it's not in that particular index so if i move it to a different index it will it will work and it will actually you can see that uh, the hello text and the hello world is written inside the text box one text that's pretty much it now this does not mean that the default implementation of find control is bad okay this does not mean that the primary use of find control the default implementation is to find the control quickly by implementing a better find control we are kind of saying that we need to find a much uh, control that is deeper in the hierarchy and hence we're using a recursive algorithm to find that now there is a performance hit when doing this kind of scenarios but in certain cases just as you saw that in create user wizard maybe in a grid view control or a detail view or a form view control when it is completely required for you to find a particular nested control then this is a very good solution to do that. That's pretty much it. I hope you like this screencast and stay tuned for high encoding for more screencasts. Thank you very much.